Welcome to the Walton Pie. Today we are going to go through an example of an inductive proof. Our example today is going to be showing that the sum from k equals 1 to n of k squared is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. To start out this proof, because it is an inductive proof, we are going to start with a base case. Here our base case is going to be n equals 1. So, we just need to show that the sum from k equals 1 to 1 of k squared is equal to 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1 plus 1 all over 6, which is replacing each of the n's in our statement with a 1. So, the sum from k equals 1 to 1 of k squared is equal to 1 squared, which is equal to 1, which is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 all over 6 which is precisely what we would get if we were to replace every n with a 1 in our statement that we are trying to prove. Next we are going to show, or we are going to state our inductive hypothesis, which is we assume that for some m greater than or equal to 1, because 1 is our base case, that is our lowest value that we can take for m, we assume that for any of those m, the sum from k equals 1 to m of k squared is equal to m times m plus 1 times 2m plus 1 all over 6. We will then use this inductive hypothesis when we are trying to prove our inductive step, which is where we try and show that it is true for m plus 1. Here, if we plug in m plus 1 for n, we are going to get the sum from k equals 1 to m plus 1 of k squared. We can pull out the m plus 1 term, so that is an m plus 1 squared, and we are left with the sum from k equals 1 to m of k squared. That is what we were able to assume was equal to m times m plus 1 times 2m plus 1 all over 6 by our inductive hypothesis. So we are able to replace the sum from k equals 1 to m of k squared with that fraction in our proof. So, we now are left with m plus 1 squared plus that fraction. In order to combine them, we need to get a common denominator. So, by rewriting m plus 1 squared as 6 times m plus 1 squared over 6, we are able to combine the two fractions. Since both pieces have an m plus 1 in common, we can factor that out. So we are left with m plus 1 times parentheses 6 times m plus 1 plus m times 2m plus 1. By distributing that out and then combining terms, we are then able to get that is equal to m plus 1 times parenthesis 2m squared plus 7m plus 6. If we go through and factor 2m squared plus 7m plus 6, we find that that is equal to m plus 2 times 2m plus 3. So, the sum from k equals 1 to m plus 1 of k squared is equal to m plus 1 times m plus 2 times 2m plus 3 all over 6, which is precisely what we would get if we were to replace every n in our statement with an m plus 1. Therefore, the sum from k equals 1 to n of k squared will be equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6 for every natural number n. That is precisely what we were wanting to do. And thus, we are done with our proof. If you enjoyed this video or thought that it was helpful, please like and subscribe. I have other videos that may be helpful for you as well, so please feel free to check those out. Thanks, and have a great day.